guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this bucket list photo album. I know a lot of people make bucket lists, and this is just a cuter way to do it. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this. Alright, so you're going to get a binder, and I took this fabric one from Target. Then some sheet protectors, which is what you're going to be putting the pages that you make your bucket list um, things from. Then you're going to want some paper, and I just took some blank paper, some blue, pink, and green paper as well. You can do any color you want though. Then you're going to want to print out some colored images based on what you want to do for your bucket list, and that'll be your inspiration pages. Then you're going to want to type out some font, and I did things such as travel to Greece, visit 50 states, graduate college, go to Disney, and then you're going to want to type page, and then I got this little craft book from Target. Scissors, glue, and tape, some markers, and some sticky notes. First you're going to want to take your piece of paper and some of the images that you want to do and for this first one I'm going to be doing travel out of the United States. So I've got my pictures and I'm going to start. You're going to want to cut them out. I did these two cute images I just typed up travel the world and I put tumblr in because if you put tumblr in under your search result you'll get so much cuter results go ahead you're gonna want to cut those out and then when you get them all cut out you're just gonna put them however you want on your paper you can do a collage you can do like a little cute neat orientation And then you're going to want to take the font for this specific one, and I'm doing travel out of the U.S., so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. And you don't exactly have to type this on the computer and print it out. If you're good at drawing, you can write out the words in some cool font. Um, you can do bubble letters, you can do whatever you want. I wanted a more sophisticated, I guess you could say type of bucket list so I went ahead and printed out nice font and I do think I have nice writing but I just thought it would make it look so much neater and it just it helps save with time and stuff I do have a lot of things I wanted to put on my bucket list so it would take hours to go ahead and just write them all out but you can do it however you want and go ahead and just arrange the photos however you want on the page for this one I'm going to do a sort of collage style and then you're going to want to go ahead and you can either tape or glue these on. I'm going to do tape just because, in my experience, glue is a little bit more messy and makes the page a little bubbly. But if you'd prefer glue, that is just as well. I'm just going to go ahead and put tape on. And try to tape at least each picture to the page so when you put them in, they don't fall off. And then take your plastic sheet protector and go ahead and put that in. And I think it turned out so nice for my first one. And next you're going to want to take the page for when you actually do it. The other one was the inspiration page. You just put pictures on there to inspire you. And then when you do it, this will be the page that you put your actual photos that you take on. And for me, I did three things. I did um, a half of a pink sticky note. You can do any color, of course. But I did pink, blue, and green sticky notes based off of the color pages I chose. So I did a pink sticky note that says achieved. And on there, whenever I complete this one, I will put the date that I did it on. And then I have a blue sticky note for the story, and it'll just be a little story about it, about what went on. And then I also did one that was memory, and it's just like my favorite memory from traveling out of the U.S. is what I'll put on there, and it's so cute. And this page doesn't look so great right now, now that it doesn't have any photos on it yet, but I decided to go ahead and add some colorful hearts on. figured that'll at least give it a little bit of color and a little bit of taste. So when you're going through this book, so maybe you have other things done and you want to go look through your book and you're still on the pages, this page won't be as boring to look at. And it'll also be cute when you have the pictures on it as well. So I went ahead and cut out hearts. You could also add things such as stickers, um, just like that paper that I bought from Target that has free designs on it and put those on there and make hearts out of those or shapes anything you really want to do. I just thought the hearts would be so cute. Go ahead and put that in the sheet protector. 
Now you're gonna wanna take these two and put them in your binder. And now we've got our first page done and it looks so nice. And then I went ahead and I did graduate college because of course I started college, I spent all this money, of course I'm going to want to graduate. And then I also put one that's get married and it's not like I want to get married now but I know in the future I'm going to want to. So I thought it'd be nice to put this on my bucket list. And then the pictures I got were so cool and I just really wanted to put these pictures somewhere so why not just make a bucket list page for it. I've got three pages down so far and they're all looking so cute. But I'm going to do this fourth one just to show you another way. If you don't want to do colorful paper, you can also do this. So since it's just going to be a white piece of paper for this one, I decided to go ahead and color the words that I did just to give it a little bit of color. So I did pink, blue, and green also because I'm adding this into that book with the pink, blue, and green paper. So I just wanted to color code it to match. And then when you're done with that, go ahead, tape it on, and then get your photos ready. And since, like I said, this is just plain white paper, I'm going to take this pre-designed paper and cut it out. And I'm just going to use the scraps that I had left over from before for this one. Plus, I like the paper I used. So I'm going to cut it out to fix or to the shape of my things. And it's just going to add a cute little background to your photo, and it's going to color up the page a lot. Go ahead, and if you're doing this style, you could just keep, that, keep the picture to the colorful paper that you're backgrounding it on, and then put it on there. And that's what it looked like when it was done, when I did all of them. This one also looks so cute, too. And you think just because it's a white paper, it wouldn't look as good. And so this is the final touches, and I went ahead and I did a bunch here to graduate college, go to a drive-in movie theater, go to Disney World, hiking. Go to Universal Orlando, visit off of the U.S. states, camping, and that's it. Alright guys, so that was how to make a bucket list photo album, and I had so much fun making this, and I'm sure you guys will too. Have a wonderful week!